Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma for Hospitals and the QI Macros. And on page 249 of the Healthcare Data Guide, there's some data we can use to create hoteling T2 charts and XMR charts. Now, the first thing we want to do is select all of this data. So we have costs and charges and profits. And what we're going to do is go to the QI Macros pull down menu and choose the hoteling T2 chart. It'll prompt for a numeric value, and we're just going to use the default here. And it'll create our charts. It'll also create the T1 chart. There's a T1 and a T2 chart. And you can see we have some points above the hoteling limits. And so we might actually need to go ahead and do some work and figure out what was going on there. Now we could also take this data and run an XMR chart for each one of these Columns. So if I do a control chart of that, it'll do an XMR chart of our costs. And you can see we have something odd going on. It dipped down here and then it soared over there. That might tell us something. We could also take that same data and just look at the charges. And our charges here look pretty good. Our range was quite low here during this period for some reason. So that's one bit of information. And then we can take our data as well. And again, I'm just holding down the control key to select the second column here. And we can do a control chart of that. And so here you can see our profits soared during this window. And our variation was pretty low down here. So there was something going on here that helped us boost profit. Uh, so it might be interesting to know, you know, do a root cause analysis and find out why were we making more money. Uh, it doesn't look like our charges were down, uh, but costs were down. Oh, yay. So that's probably where our profits were up. So that's how we can take this financial data from the Healthcare Data Guide and start to analyze what's actually going on with performance using dollars, not just defects. All right. Uh, so that's how you do that with the QI macros.